Hello, it's Flo and today I want to show you how to flush a custom ROM on your HTC Desire HD. And moreover, this is a Jelly Bean version. So thanks to random blame, we get this version of Cyanogen. Oh, no, this is not Cyanogen. This is a version of Android uh, with Jelly Bean. And we get it for our HTC Desire HD. So my video is special because today I will show you how to come from the Froyo version to the Jelly Bean. This is not nothing. This is something amazing and maybe never done on YouTube and around the world. You must have followed my previous video on how to downgrade your HTC device and you must have also rooted your device as soft and also installed the recovery. You must have followed so few minutes of videos and some articles of my videos. Okay, so now I am downloading this link. This is the CM Jelly Time underscore R29 and we must just connect our phone there on disk drive disk drive to our computer there we get our HTC 2 GB we have to delete this file because I don't need it we have different folders and I want to create a new one called ROM okay there I have to copy the just downloaded uh, custom RAM modify V. I have to paste it on my folder. So copy and paste. So we get the uh, placement of the of the new custom RAM. So let's go. We get that. Uh, when it's done, you must just check different things on settings. First is application. First boot. First boot must be just. Uh, unchecked and and no sources activate and development USB debugging mode activate we are waiting for the copying of our new file so this is a zip file you get it and you can flash it with the recovery that's why you must have followed my previous video and then I will show you how to flash a custom ROM on your HTC Desire HD and you can do that every time so if you are doing that please don't do as previous person, for example, I don't know the ice customizer, uh, which keep my videos and uh, is doing the same thing to me, never thanks me because he just keep my work and this is just something like that. So if you like what I do, please just thanks me and uh, share my job. But if you want to work with me, you can ask me, but please don't do exactly the same thing I am doing. So the uh, download is finished just now and we get it on our HTC Zero HD. Right now you can just power off our phone. So let's go to power off our phone. Then we can also uh, thanks me so on my YouTube channel and over location. You can add me on Facebook, on Google Plus, on Twitter, on different uh, network, um, net social network. Okay, so my phone is now power off. I can reboot it on bootloader. Press volume down and press power at the same time. And we get the bootloader mode. There. So check there is no PG98 uh, IMG. Let's go to the recovery. We can just use the volume button to check where we want to go and power to select. We restart on recovery. And here we are. On recovery, you must do a backup just to save all your data before doing anything. Then you have to wipe data, click yes and uh, no, confirm wipe. Uh, wipe cache partition, you, you must have yes, wipe cache, okay, wipe cache and must wipe data also. So let's go to wipe cache, there. No wipe data. Yes, delete all user data. There, we are waiting for that. And now we can just flash the custom ROM. So let's go to the uh, install zip from SD card. This is the second menu. Wait for matching cache. And it's down. This is a touch recovery, so we can just use uh, the screen. Install zip from SD card. We have to select the first one, choose zip from SD card. Now we go on ROM, where I selected the uh, ROM placed, and CMJ time. We have to select, yes, in, oh, no. 
we have to select yes excuse me run this one and select the yes no hey please select that yes and we are installing the jelly bean version on our HTC desire HD installing update and here we are So it can take a time to install it and then it can take also a while to for the first boot. If it don't boot you can also remove the battery and just insert it again and restart your phone and it could wait and it could work. Excuse me. So during this time you can read different things and thanks by the by the way uh, this uh, this amazing pupil. Thanks him and let's go. You can also buy a beer if you want. Uh, utilities you can download Google Apps because you need it just to get the Google application uh, when you do that. So this one is uh, 10 11 10 2012. I'm not sure I get it because this is sometimes difficult you know to um, to download some uh, files from my place. So G A maybe this one yes this one will work so install from SD card is complete and we can reboot on uh, on our mod but I want to do something else this is just to flush I want I am not sure that it will work but uh, we will try to do that mount USB storage I want to at the same time install the G apps so mount so we must get there our G apps on ROM just there. This is the jelly bean version. You can choose a ice cream sandwich version or to the jelly bean custom ROM. So you must be careful with that. So I am just using the jelly bean G apps to do that. It must work. Uh, Google apps. This is the last is uh, 11 tenth, but I get the uh, 26 seventh. So I hope it will work. Okay. And then we are reaching for that 45 seconds. Okay, so to do that, just we can flash uh, VG apps. You can see this is a zip, also a zip file. So you can flash it exactly as uh, as the uh, custom ROM.zip. So 15 seconds. We can just press uh, go back when it's. We can't press it because. We, it will just disconnect or unmount our fan, but we have to wait and then we can press go back. So, okay, go back, go back, install zip, choose zip, we have to select ROM. Uh, where did I put it? Oh, where is it? I've got it there. Oh, shit. So, I will just show you uh, the reboot. And then we could uh, maybe add VG apps, and I will show you the reboot, and you already get the uh, how to install G apps on your uh, custom ROM. There is already a video on my YouTube channel. So we are rebooting, and we get the Jelly Bean boot animation from Jelly Time. So this is just so beautiful. You see that. So first boot can take some some minutes maybe sometimes and you have to, to test it. So if it don't work you have to remove the battery, but not at this moment, you have to wait maybe five or ten minutes before doing that. I will just cut the video because uh, I don't want to wait a lot of time and it will take a time but I will just restart it. You have the boot animation so it will work. Just come back. So here we are, we get the Jelly Bean version and we can select two different launcher, Nova or Trebuchet. Trebuchet I just, just once because I want to show you different things after. And let's go to start it and we get there the menu, system settings there and we get about phone and we get jelly bean 
uh, on our HTC Zair HD. So this is just amazing. Thanks to have seen this video. That was Flow.